I know there's certain announcements that will get them. Oh, good. Are you Fred? Yeah, I'm Fred. Mine Fred? Is mine. Fred? Yes. Yes. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. Excellent. You can have a I'm your Are you going to announce a teacher's Have a day with that. Yeah. Oh, do you want to bring that up? Oh, that's probably better. Is it Fred? Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. I'm Yuri. I'm Yuri. I'm your volunteer facilitator tonight. I'm your volunteer facilitator. I would like to acknowledge that we are already on occupied land. And this is a safe space. We do not accept oppressive language and oppressive behavior in any way. We have certain signals. We have certain signals. And signals. And signals. I would like to go through them. We have twinkle fingers if you agree with something. We have two hands above your head. Two hands above your head. If you stand aside and but do not agree. If you stand aside but do not agree. We have a block. We have a block. If you do not agree. If you do not agree. If you block, if you block, you will have to Counter propose, propose or speak, or speak to, the to the proposal being made. We have a motion signal that we have a motion signal which says, which says we know we hear what you say, hear what you say and we would like to wrap up <laughs> because we have a two minute limit <laughs> per person. We have a point of process. We have a point of process. If Get derailed on process. You can make a point of process. Say what's wrong, and we get back. We have a clarification, which is a question to the proposal made. We have a point of information. is to be used strictly to bring us back to focus. It is not an attempt to speak to the issues. Thank you. Thank you. So. Right at the front of the building. 
building. Right in front of the building. It will be easily noticeable. Which will be easily noticeable. Okay. Are there any other updates? Other updates? From committees. From committees. Reminder. Reminder. There is a major action. There is a major action. On our two month anniversary. On our two month sponsored anniversary. Sponsored by the Housing Committee. Sponsored by the Housing Committee. Right here. Right here. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. December 15th, Rebel City, City, in association with Title, uh, what was it? That's Ride? I can't remember the name. Located at St. Jane or St. Stephen's, December 15th. It's a fundraiser at St. Stephen's Park. Uh, decorating party at noon. Party Dancing, Dancing till late. What children's activities, yoga, prayer, dinner, entertainment, music, dancing. What for? Raise funds and resources that will help provide food, shelter, warmth, and community for those in need. Come join us for the launching of Rebel City, partnering with Occupy Toronto, and the Ripple Effect. Go to rippleRelay.ca. Ripples, Rebel City. Uh, that's from the Rebel City, and it's going to be located at St. Stephen's at the park there, uh, which is by college and the uh, government. So I'd just like to remind everybody, so I'd just like to remind everybody that the Thursday mass action that the Thursday mass action was organized was organized by the housing committee. By the housing committee. If you'd like to get on that committee, if you'd like to get on that committee to that gentleman right there. Speak to that gentleman right there. Or show up at a meeting. Or show up at a meeting. When do you have meetings? Guys, to be very honest, as busy as we've been, we've postponed our meetings until after the event. But you can meet me uh, pretty much at the tree on Thursday at 9 a.m. and we can discuss anything about housing you want to talk about. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to move on. I'd like to move on. To ask you this question. What are you doing in your community? What are you doing in your community? What do you need? What do you need? What uh, actions? Yes, I have uh, direct actions that need possible resources, fundings, and volunteers. Um, a group of occupiers are still trekking and roaming about the city of Toronto and, and sleeping outdoors. Some have decided to, upon the 2012 year, starting January 1st, leave Toronto and spread out to different communities in different cities across Canada. One being Vancouver, British Columbia. Several occupiers have decided to backpack and hitchhike or travel together in a small contingent from Toronto starting January 1st across the country. And we need support, volunteers, people that maybe have same places that they know that these occupiers can stay and camp for the night without costing them too much. Uh, resources to get possible transportation at times, a uh, lift. Uh, if you'd like to contact somebody, you can contact me at torontocycling at gmail.com and I will put you in touch with those occupiers. Would we like Toronto to continue using the Google mic or just do this? Yeah. It's hard to hear sometimes, so may I suggest the people's mic if the speaker yeah. feels comfortable? Mic check. Mic, mic check. check. There is a group. There is a group. Who are going to begin. We're going, going to begin, begin a consciousness raising project. A consciousness raising project at York University. At York University. Starting January. Starting January. In a potential preparation. In a potential preparation for an occupation movement. For an occupation movement. Uh, if you'd like to join that group, talk to me after the General Assembly. I would like to get back on track with the announcements. We have a few more, I think. I'd be more than happy. Hi, my name is Teresa. Hi, my name is Teresa. 
I've been helping Occupy from the sidelines, so you may not know my face. I know some people uh, need a place to sleep. I know some people need a place to sleep. From and I know this because I've been watching live stream. And I know this because I've been watching live stream. In case some of uh, the people who need a place don't have the following information. In case some people who need a place don't have the following information. This is what I have. What I found out today. This is what I found out today. So the first place to call, so first place to call is, central intake. is Central Intake. The phone number is 416-338-3380. Phone number is 416-338-4766. They will help you find a, a fitting place to sleep. They will help you find a fitting place provided to sleep. They have a bed. Provided they have a bed. Provided they have a bed. The next place you can try. The next place you can try is 129 Peter Street. Is 129 Peter Street at Richmond Street. At Richmond Street. It's a you can walk in. You can walk in. But it's you, it can be you can be full. You can be full. Uh, but they can still refer you. But they can still refer you. Uh, but it's but it's better to call Central Intake. Because they have the broader scope. Because they have the broader scope. <coughs> if you want to go to a shelter that's not city owned, if you want to go to a shelter that is not city owned, there's one called Out of the Cold. There's one, one called Out of the Cold. The phone number is. The phone number is. 416. 416. 699. 699. 6682. 6682. I have schedules for for their sleeping times and beds. For the sleeping times and beds. But yeah, but you usually have to sign up before noon hour. You usually have to sign up before twelve. And that's all the information I have. I think there's somebody who has a point of clarification. I just kind of figured uh, those are all shelters, right? Yeah. I know. I hear the greater need for occupying. Are there any more announcements on the speakers list? Uh, can I cancel the speakers, Mike? Right. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, okay, never mind. Bring on the speakers, Mike. Uh, I just wanted to offer. I just, I just wanted, wanted to, to offer. offer uh, on Saturdays, if anybody's interested. On Saturdays, if anybody's interested. Uh, I'd like to offer uh, a skill that I know. I'd like to offer a skill that I know. Which is professional window cleaning. Which is professional window cleaning. cleaning. It helps put some extra money in your pocket. It helps put some extra money in your pocket. I know a lot of people that make a pretty decent buck by just going to storefronts. I know a lot of people who make a decent buck by going just going to storefronts. Um, just with a uh, you know professional squeegee, T-bar, which is a mop, and a pole. So you don't need much, and uh, it wouldn't take too long to learn how to do it well. Um, so if anybody wants, uh, I can offer that. Uh, as sort of a, a lesson. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much could an individual possibly make uh, low, uh, low high for a human being? It all depends. So it depends on whether you're doing high rise or whatever. But if you're just going out there on the streets and kind of going store to store, uh, you know, it, it can vary. But the good thing is, is um, when you get a rapport with a particular company that likes your work, then uh, mm -hmm. oftentimes they'll have you come back once a week, once every two weeks, and then you just build it up like that. So, you know, you might start off with just, you know, one or two here and there, but then, you know. And the contact oh. information is after the GA? Yeah, just come see me after the GA okay. if you're interested, and I'll give you my contact information. Right. And your name Tyler? is? My name's Tyler. Tyler, thank you, Tyler. I have a question for Tyler. All right, would you be interested in bottom lining a job committee that helps people network to find work. Do you Absolutely. have the time to do something like that? Uh, on the weekends, I just started with a new company uh, yeah. two days ago, so I'm most likely going to be pretty busy during the daytime, Monday to Friday. But uh, on the weekends, sure, and uh, whenever I have time, yeah, if people are interested. Then yeah, for sure. So if anybody's interested in helping, what's your name again? Uh, Tyler. Tyler, work on a job committee that helps people network and find job leads. You Please support after the J right here. I'm sorry we deferred from the speaker's list. Is there more on the speaker's list? Uh, Fred? Oh, okay, great. Um, hi, 
my name's Fred. Hi, my name's Fred. I was just looking at the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And here's some of the guaranteed uh, fundamental freedoms that we have as Canadians. As Canadians. Okay, I'm not going to do the mic check for this part. I'm just going to ramble through it. So okay. we can get to the mic check later. So, everyone has the following fundamental freedoms. Freedom of conscience and religion, freedom of thought, belief, opinion, expression, including freedom of the press and other media communications, freedom of peaceful assembly, and freedom of association. Now we can do mic check. Mic check. By being evicted from St. James Park. By being evicted from St. James Park. As a group of Canadians. As a group of Canadians. Our fundamental freedoms, our fundamental freedoms have obviously been violated. Have obviously been violated. How did we let this happen? How did we let this happen? Or even worse, or even worse, how could we let this happen? How could we let this happen? We've set a precedent. We have set a precedent. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms can be trumped. Can be trumped by a municipal bylaw. By a municipal bylaw. Most occupations go through the same process. Most occupations go through the same process. Occupy. Occupy. Retreat. Retreat. Reorganize. Reorganize. And reoccupy. And reoccupy. Good news. Good news. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Has announced. Has announced. Occupation 2.0. Occupation 2.0. To commence. To commence. At noon. At noon. December 17th. December 17th. 2011. 2011. I'll pass around the poster. I'll pass around the poster. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just a quick point of process. Yeah. Point of process. Let's remember, Let's remember that the GAs, that the GAs are proposal, are proposal an action -based and action-based action forum. forum. I encourage everybody, I encourage everybody as a facilitator, as a facilitator to please form working groups, to please form working groups, or join any committees, to join any committees, to talk about law, to talk about law, or any politics. Or any politics. But let's keep the GAs. But let's keep the GAs for updates. For updates and decision processes. And decision processes. Well, you should do announcements. That was an announcement. Who's the next one on the speaker list? Uh, Peter. 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 That would be me. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> Uh, I've had the privilege of participating with you since day one. I've had the privilege of participating with you since day one. I have uh, slept in the park. I have uh, slept in the park. And I have also uh, have a home in uh, Young and St. Clair. And I see the movement as a gift in spirit. And I see the movement as a gift in spirit. Part of my work in organizations is to also raise consciousness. Part of my work in organizations is also to raise consciousness. But they don't know that. But they, <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> my one of my contributions to the movement, to the movement uh, is to uh, invite uh, a dialogue. dialogue by a, a Facebook page. By a Facebook page. It's erected today it's called erected today. Occupy Within. Occupy Within. The intention is to embody Gandhi's words. The intention is to embody Gandhi's words. And to paraphrase. And to paraphrase. Gandhi said, Gandhi said leaders. Need to be the change they want to see in the world. Need to be the change they want to see in the world. Since my early twenties, since my early twenties, I've uh, chosen to be on a path of personal and spiritual development. I chose to be on a path of personal and spiritual development, and I am taking many of those lessons and putting it out onto the. Facebook page. And I'm taking those lessons and putting them on the Facebook page. Humbly. 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 As, as an opportunity to explore our own divinity. As an opportunity to explore our own divinity. And accelerate, and accelerate the uh, beauty 
and the spirit of the movement. The to conclude, to to conclude, conclude uh, it's called Occupy Within. It's called Occupy Within. And one thing I know for sure. And one thing I know for sure is that the more we are able to walk the talk. The more we are connected at head and heart and action, the more we are connected at head, heart, and action, the more we will attract to this movement. The more we will attract to this movement. And I offer a way of being one path to do that. Thank you. Thank you. How can people? Oh, how, how can people join you? How can people join you? Join participating in this group and helping you run it. Uh, so right now there's a Facebook page that's open. Uh, what I started to do at St. James, but ran out of time, was to initiate workshops called Be the Change. Uh, right now, I have a program in place for that. My invitation is that anyone like you, who, uh, for whom this resonates, I would gladly welcome. Uh, I'd be happy to pass my card out as a way of initiating contact, and I'd be honored to, uh, to be alongside you. Yeah. Who's okay. the next one on the speakers list? Um, there? No one else has entered the speakers list, so I would like to speak. Uh, hi. Hi. My name is Jeff. My name, My name is Jeff. Jeff. And I'm a bit uh, sick and tired. And I'm a bit, a bit sick and tired. tired. Of hosting GAs out in the cold. Of hosting GAs out in the cold. So I really like to reintroduce the discussion. So I like to reintroduce the discussion about hosting. GAs, uh, GAs during the winter, during the winter, winter indoors. indoors. There are four hands up. I'm going to start taking stacks. I would like Gentlemen, to in, in intervene the first, if I may. I think this is not really a proposal. So maybe my proposal to you is we should do first clear proposals, which are which people have, and then we can get back to this discussion, which is very interesting and very important. But difficult and, and messy. Well, I probably have a point of information. Point of information. I've talked to several members. I've, I've talked, talked to several members. members. Our community. Our, our community. community. Several people are looking. Several, several people, people are, are looking. looking. So what I do suggest. So what I do suggest is that we do a call out. Is that so we, we do, do a call out. And these people bring me information. And, and these people, people bring me information to the GA. To the GA. Therefore, we can make a proper decision. And therefore, we can make a proper decision because it is being worked on. Just wondering um, if there's any updates on bringing the large yurt here. I remember that was part of the uh, <coughs> agreement that we came to with the library. Oh, man. This is a great union says no. Yeah. Okay. okay, I would like to go to the proposals. There may be other places where the yurt could be put in with permission. Okay, thank you. Here's a good idea. Um, somebody was saying something about uh, where was the community. Uh, I'll, I'll find out, but there was a community that they said that that would okay. be very accepted. So I, uh, okay, thank you very much. I would like to get back to proposals. Are there any people with proposals? Clear, we can uh, consent on. Please make yourself known to Jeff and Steph. If there aren't any more proposals, and there aren't any more action updates, and I propose, I would like to address the proposal and then readdress. Uh, I propose, I propose, we form a working group, we form a working group of members of the GA currently present, of members of the GA currently present, especially those who have worked on, especially those who have worked on the housing committee, the housing committee, or have researched, or have researched possible locations, possible locations to permanently hold our GA. To permanently hold our GA. Uh, I do know that. I do know uh, that. At 
519 Community Center on Church. At 519 Community Center on Church. We offer a large free space. We offer a large free space for community meetings. For community meetings. There are any number of places. There are a number of places to get a free room. To get a free room. But it would probably be a really bad idea. But it would probably be a really bad idea. Because you'd have like different rooms all the time. Because you'd have like different rooms all the time. And uh, it would get very disorganized. And it would get very disorganized. So finding a permanent place. So finding a permanent place is a different issue. Is a different issue. And that would be a separate thing to work on. And that would be a separate thing to work on. I suggest, can I suggest that the housing committee that the housing committee <laughs> what's that? We're all right now. Okay. So can I can I suggest, can I suggest that there will be erected a GA housing GA housing committee. A GA housing committee. Are you going to bottom line that? Would anybody like to bottom line this proposal? Um, Point of information. Point of information. Um, I was talking to a gentleman here. I don't remember his name. He's a facilitator. Um, he's not here now. But anyway, um, we, we discussed three different places, and uh, 519 seems to be the preferred spot. It's a large room. It has an elevator that goes up. It's all accessible, and it's brand new. It fits about 250 people. I think that's enough room. So. I would yeah. like to, uh, like to speak to that directly. Yeah. I propose, I propose uh, we temporarily, we temporarily <laughs> host GAs, host GAs at that location, at that location, indoors, 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 until we can, until we can settle on a permanent location. Settle on a permanent location. The point is that we have to put an application in. <laughs> the point is worse than that. The point is they are not going to give us that room, like even probably two or three times a week, let alone continuous. It's just a room that you can get once in a while, just like the rooms in Metro Hall, City Hall, any other community center. They're not giving us that room so we can just use it whenever we want. That's correct. They have like hundreds of people trying to get that room. Michael, do you have an alternate suggestion of a well, room I that you have I personally think money? the best suggestion is promising. that we get somebody who has a parking lot or a space behind their building or whatever and ask them to let us put up the yurt on their property where we're allowed to do it and nobody should see that it. Point of information. Can I want to see here? Sorry. Point of information. And I can think we of two places to possibly ask. Can okay. I? Point of information, that idea was actually was brought up oh. and we were talking about putting the yurts here. No, you're missing my point. We're not allowed right. to put it here. We can would find like somebody who will allow oh. us. Okay, okay. Well, I'd like to clarify. I'm just going to take a break from that. Sorry. Sorry. I'd like to clarify. I think this discussion is very messy right? to hold right here. It's very important that it's to be hold, but it should not be right here right now. I would like to get on with other proposals. If they're not, we can get back to this discussion, but then we can mm. post GA How? first. Yeah. Piece of information with regards to why the union has claimed the yurts as theirs. They are not ours. Thank you. Are there any more proposals? Is everybody okay? Is there a proposal? <laughs> All right, well, then I have an amendment. She's, she's not sure if it's a proposal or a suggestion. Okay. I, I, think, uh, I think there was an amendment. She doesn't want to be on camera. Okay. <laughs> I know somebody else who could supply it for tents if we can get a location. Thank you. Uh, so now you're cool with keeping the camera off? Huh? Okay. Alright, Mike check. Mike check. I don't remember the heads in those ones. Scattered Court. Community Center. What is the place called? Scanning Court. <laughs> Can I suggest that all the people with ideas on this topic congregate right over there and speak about this topic? 
and that we as a group close the GA because there's nothing more to speak. Is it okay if we adjourn the GA? I, I would suggest we open it to any other proposals. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. need to read over yeah. yeah, but there's no more proposals. Is it okay? Is there a block to, to adjourning the GA? I'm encouraging to stay and speak amongst yourselves. And join any committees. I'm going to take off soon, so if anybody wants to learn window cleaning on Saturday, window cleaning. And space finding.